<laughs> to be honest, I don't know how to respond. Come on, man. You work with this guy. Hey. How you doing, gentlemen? Oh, pretty good. I have a bronze statue I like to sell. Do you know much about it? I don't know what to tell you about that. This is a statue called Pegasus, and this is Perseus. Perseus was the mythological figure that killed Medusa. So uh, what can you tell me about this thing? It was made in 1888 uh, by the French sculptor Emile Picard. If this is a genuine Picard, we're talking thousands of dollars. His sculptures are highly collectible. The patina looks right. What doesn't look right is there's some pity right here. And that crack right there is from when they cast it. It didn't happen later. To be honest, I don't know how to respond. You see this? Yeah. It says Made in USA below it. This was not made in 1888. What you've seen and what you can prove is two different stories. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you tell me, but I know you're full of You know, <laughs> it's all right, Antoine. I got it. I got it. Um, that's just what I see. We really appreciate you bringing it in. But it's not for us. That's all I can tell you. Earlier today, I met with a guy who wanted to sell me a pistol. I've never really seen one of these, so I had to call my buddy Sean to come down and check it out. So this is yours, Jim? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. What, what do you know about it? Well, uh, I got it at a gun show, and uh, you know the uh, seller had bought it from an estate sale, and um, it'd been in the family for generations, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get it. What do you think it's worth? If it's authentic, you know, you know, to the period, uh, anywhere between fifteen and twenty-five hundred. Unfortunately, just. Right off the bat, I know that this is, unfortunately, a reproduction. Um, OK, so, so how can you tell? The markings were you know, punched in as opposed to hand engraved. You would have certain markings on the barrel that were proof marks from the Tower of London. There is just nothing about this gun that is of the period. Its value would be about $75 to $100. You know, I paid 800 bucks for this. I'm sorry you, you, you got burned. Yeah, so, okay, maybe the thing is a, is a fake. I'm... My wife was pissed uh, when I bought this gun. Now she's really going to kill me. This guy brought in the nicest looking Gibson I've ever seen. And it's serial number one of a high-end series. You said you wanted 50, man. I mean, I, I got to make money on it. Yeah, I can understand that. Would you go 40? I really don't want to come off of that asking price. 43. 48? 45. You gotta remember, this is serial number one. I'm hesitant even to drop to 48. I, I really don't want to move for my price. All right, deal. Chum, you want to go write them up? All right, I just need your ID. Kind of having some second thoughts, man. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Corey. Come here, this guy's having second thoughts. Counting the money, man. I don't think I can sell it, man. You sure? I don't think so. Have you seen the new $100 bills? They're, they're beautiful. Have you ever seen 100 of them? It looks great, but <laughs> man, this is, this is my baby. You want 50 for it? <sighs> I just don't. Hey, that's what you came in here wanting. I know, man. I just don't think I can part with it. Oh, man, I can't force you, but if you change your mind, I'll be here, all right? All right. I'm sorry, man. Take care. Big Hoss, I'll have some of that money. I got a pest collection I'm looking to unload today. You got any candy? No, these have no candy in them at all. These are all from the 1960s, 1970s. What good are candy dispensers without candy? Come on, man. You work with this guy. These are very, very collectible, and it's a great hobby. I know it might look childish to you, but there's definitely money into it. I have Casper the Friendly Ghost in the original box from the 1960s. This uh, particular Pez here goes for like three to $400. I have the Mickey Mouse in the original box. It's a die cut. One of my coolest pieces I like is the original Batman. Very tough to find. What do you want for him? I like to grab 2500 for him. I have to grab it somewhere else. I'm going to offer you a grand, my friend, just because I got to resell them. You could put these on the internet individually and uh, definitely make your money back on these. Well, man, I'm not looking to break even at all. I understand that, but these three pieces alone are a Gino. Thousand bucks is what I can do. It's fine. All right, buddy. Get out of here, man. I can't believe one of them guys offered me $1,000 for that them 50 pieces of the Pez. That's an insult to the Pez community. I can't believe it. That's why they're chooches.